What's up everybody, War of Stormwind here. I've been taking a break from the game, playing some Fallout 4. Really been enjoying that. And you know, when you take a break, things funny things happen. I was taking a look around, I figured I'd finally build me a bedroom and, and plant my ore barrier bushes, but I, I got a new person living in the house with me. It's quite strange. I found them wandering around, so we built him a little room to live in. One of the wonderful villagers moved in. So I put him down here next to the mob spawner. Let's see what he has to trade. And it won't let me trade with him. How about that? Too bad. I was going to try to. Oh well. I guess I'll turn. If I want to trade with him, I guess I'll uh, turn into a bat. I had a blood moon occur, so I wanted to see how that went. And blood moons are quite nice. String, glass bottle, spider eyes. Gunpowder, bones, rotten flesh, shadow fragment. I gotta figure out what to do with some of those ender pearls, ender tear. Rare drop from an enderman. Interesting. I'll leave all that there. There's a. We'll have to go up there and look. There's a mob spawner up there above that. And by having the villager down here, now all the zombies will run towards the uh, the hole and fall down and die faster. The uh, Abyssal Craft zombies make some very funny sounds. So as you know, I, I went caving, found a lot of uh, Orberry bushes while I was doing my last uh, about five caving episodes. So I came down here and built me an Orberry roof. Now as you know, the Orberries, they have to uh, they have to grow in the dark. So I built a dark room right here. got all the half slabs in so nothing can spawn and I put the, the oak slabs on top so that uh, I don't accidentally get pricked by the bushes so I'll go ahead and collect all this up I know I can uh, gather my materials the normal way this is actually a very slow process but this is one one of the things that's available to us from Tinker's Construct and I'm not going to pass up free resources if they're being made available to me, so go ahead and get all this. Get me some more gold. I use the uh, red alloy wire. Makes this super easy. Um, sticky pistons in the roof, sticky pistons in the floor. And I use some uh, micro blocks to put these side half slabs in, that way monsters can't spawn there. Close that back up, put these away. At some point I'll sit down and uh, turn all that into uh, ingots. Not too worried about it right now. So this is my new room. I'm, I'm still working on it playing around with uh, Mc Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod. Got me two TVs so I can sit back and relax. These are a couple carpenters carpenters beds. I can hit them with the carpenter's hammer and change the fabric. I thought that was really cool. A couple bibliocraft shelves and some drying racks on the side. Make this nice bed. Got me a little chair and table. It's exciting stuff, right? But, you know, my bed was right here in the middle, and, and I really I really was in the way with it, so by doing that I moved it out of the way. I've actually gone through and labeled everything now, so minerals, tinkers, construct, crafted bricks, food, wood, fossils, mob items, you know, the, the usual stuff. So, a lot of people, they go with the... Uh, the reusable safari nets and the reusable safari nets require gas tiers and I haven't been able to kill any gas tiers but we have this extra utilities golden lasso which is made with an eye of ender gold nuggets and string and it's also reusable so it makes it real easy for me to collect things with it I can't use it with the uh, well I haven't tr I should say I haven't tried to use it with an auto spawner but it allows me to uh, collect them up I uh I have been to the Nether, obviously, with the uh, the Eye of Ender. 
and I have collected the blaze. Now, I have to say that the bat is really awesome for the overworld, but when you're traveling in the nether, the blaze is the way to go. You get a little bit of this, this smoke pixelations, but if you stay moving, it's not really an issue. And you're also fire retardant. So when you go to fight the other blazes, they can't set you on fire. Makes it real easy to go around and farm some blazes. So I, I went around, took some out, did a little exploring, found a blaze spawner. So I'm probably going to do something with that, that. I just haven't figured it out yet. But I just, I just like, you know, as long as you keep moving, it's not really an issue. Uh, by the way, I did finish up that uh, that mining I was doing, going around and caving. Let's go back into normal form here. Stay away from that uh, tree farm down there. It makes a ton of noise. So there were so many entities even with the mob fa farm, even with um, cleaning up all the caves in the local area. Let me catch you. Come here. See, that's just so awesome. I hear lava. I hear lava right here. I'll have to look into that later. Um, but all these entities are just causing me so much trouble. They, uh, they are causing it to lag. They were causing me all kinds of issues. They were constantly committing suicide. It's just like these people didn't want to be here anymore. See, so look at that guy. Already almost dead. So, you know, I figured they needed an easy way out. So, I built this wonderful smeltery up here. As you can tell, it's filled with molten iron, molten gold, and liquefied emerald. I'm going to hop up here. And there we go. I'll plop him down in there. Now you see he takes damage. And as he takes damage, the iron goes up. So we gain more iron as he takes damage. Plus when he dies, all of his loot will be picked up by the hopper and put in the chest. And all these villagers, man, there were so many villagers. So I rounded a bunch of them up and I put them in this little house. You see those monsters on the on the map there? That's actually where the monster spawner is. So I trapped them up in here in this little one by two block. And as they have their babies, their babies will ke run around underneath here on this one block area. And in doing so, they'll get caught on the conveyor belt and dropped out onto the chest. Now the chest doesn't have anything in it, it just prevents them from hopping back up and running back in that direction. And when they become adults, it pushes them up and then sends them out to the smeltery. Every time a villager takes damage to the smeltery, he generates emerald. And so with so many... See, look, they, they love each other right now as it is. They'll make more babies, and then those babies will uh, float on up. I've been rounding up most of the villagers. I still have a couple that are running around, but they're not causing me any trouble right now. Not like they were. Oh my goodness, they were causing me trouble. So I want to show you, you know, you get all this emerald in here, you're like, well, what am I going to do with all this emerald? So I got 62 ingots of iron in here. I'm going to put the gold at the bottom. I'll plop this emerald down. What we're going to do is we're going to make our emerald cast. So now I take that out and I swap this to emerald. And I have two liquefied emeralds in there. 